Yeah. Uh, more news. Let's go over here. More news. Prisea news. Get wrecked, Raven. Uh, over here. It's finally happening. Bex, now we can, we've wrecked Nups this morning. Let's wreck Bex this morning. Because now, cross-region data center is coming. Uh, we haven't put anything formally announcing it yet, but we are absolutely... <clears throat> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, I can talk about it now. We are absolutely throwing a huge goodbye Endwalker beach summer party. Is the current plan. Uh, we are going to throw a great send-off to Endwalker. It will be before the pre-release, where everybody's going to be playing Dawn Trail, obviously, right? You know, you get it early. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, yes. Uh, so we will be throwing a big... Our next big party will be Goodbye Endwalker. We haven't got a name for it yet, but it's going to be the summer. Obviously, Dawn Trail. We're all going on our vacation. We're getting on a boat. We're going there. So it's going to be a massive beach party. And potentially, our cross-oceanic friends uh, can come. Uh, since its introduction, the data center travel systems allow players to visit worlds within the same physical data center. For example, players in NA are able to visit worlds in Ether, Crystal, blah, blah, blah. As previously announced, our system is capable of facilitating cross-region travel, but we are still evaluating the functionality in light of the substantial differences in market economy and social norms. Chat bubbles are offensive to me. Uh, we will continue to take community feedback into account. On the other hand, many worlds may experience logging queues following the upcoming release of Dawn Trail, especially during peak times. With this situation in mind, we are considering a temporary option in which limited form of cross-region travel will allow players to play on less populated physical data centers. Thus, to identify potential issues ahead of Dawn Trail's release, we will be conducting a public test of cross-region data center travel, functionally starting Sunday, March 24th. Players connecting from geographically distant locations may experience some lag, but we hope you'll take this opportunity to explore and playing on a different physical data center. So on that day, we should probably have a... Maybe... Um, we'll lock the doors... But maybe a little uh, crawler welcome party for our friends from across the world. So, wait, they can only go to... Oh, wait, never mind. We can't do that because they're all going to Australia. <laughs> maybe... Okay, so is it a crawler invasion? <clears throat> maybe we go and invade uh, Australia. Okay, then we just reverse the tides. So, it's up to Australia to be the welcoming party. That's got to be rough, isn't it? Because I think in uh, the F in Australia's version of Final Fantasy XIV, they don't even have Moogles, right? They have, like, mini kangaroos and stuff. I'm pretty sure they have it just slightly different. Like, it's, they've got all the same stuff, but it's just slightly different. Yeah? We could take over Costa del Sol. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Why would we invade Australia? We sent all our bad people there. It's rough. Yeah, everything's just slightly different. It's, it's the same game, but ever so slightly different. They have chocobos, but they're upside down. <laughs> now, I, I mean, we're definitely going to try this out. <clears throat> so that's on March 24th. When is that? God, my calendar is so cringe. Uh, a Sunday? Ah, what? A Sunday? Oh, man. A Sunday stream? When do I get back from Cali? I'm going the 17th. I'll be coming back Tuesday as it stands right now, but maybe Wednesday if it goes a different way. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, God. Enos, you've tagged Linksy in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, drag him in, drag him in, drag him in. Uh, it's your birthday next Tuesday. All right. I think we have our crawler party on Dawn Trail Day. And for DC, we just go all over and hang around somewhere with a party. You get your brain whirling, Bex. You get that You get that brain ticking. Get that hamster spinning that wheel uh, and see what's going on. But that sounds like fun. That sounds like fun. Either way, we've got a really exciting week coming up. So it's not a good thing. Data travel system had unforeseen side effects. It killed data centers, for example. Yes, uh... Play Fighter is dead. Yeah, uh, I think in the EU, most people go to uh, Light for their Play Finder stuff, right? Uh, Chaos kind of got the shot into the stick. However, it's so easy to do. I don't massively consider it a problem. 
I don't think it's a problem. However, I know there are some people who are very, very attached to their server, their community. This is my home. This is my thing. This is where I live. I come from here. Wherever they just RNG managed to roll one day. So I know people feel a bit different. Um, for me, data center travel or whatever is like a th three second problem. To have access to unlimited groups and stuff, I don't really see it as an issue. Uh, my retainers can't come, Pepe hands. <laughs> Chaos, good, light, bad. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people do feel that way. It is what it is. It's not a big problem. A lot of a problem for me. Uh, light is the true European holy land. Let's parlez vu. Uh, it's annoying to be cut off from your retainers in your FC chat while traveling. It's mostly an annoyance. Yeah, but I think you're moving for a specific reason, right? That's uh, You're going to get something done in a task. But then again, it's not something I interact with too much. Um, so, yeah. If I use it as a way to visit and see other people or do other things or go to parties and etc, etc. I'm not exactly active in the player finder community, let's be honest. Uh, that's totally fine. Totally fine. Uh, and they've also banned a bunch of people, which is fine. Which is good. Yeah, it's uh, interesting. Uh, the WoW 